Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another Madden 22 video for you guys. EA just released a deep dive into some of the new features in Franchise Mode, which I know was a very big uh, issue in the Madden community last year. So I wanted to make a video letting you guys know what I think were the biggest changes to expect in the upcoming uh, Franchise Mode Madden 22. Uh, some of the things I'm going to mention today weren't even in the video that they released today. I got a couple of things that are my own thoughts about it. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor as always hit the like button let me know in the comment section i recently wanted to make a video letting you guys know that i am part of the playtest community right now i am playing madden 22 live and that's where i'm basically how i'm going to start this video there's a couple of things that weren't in this deep dive video that i think are going to play major roles when it comes to uh to franchise mode to online franchise mode especially uh one of which they mentioned uh last week when they had the trailer uh one of the biggest ones to me from playing the game um, is I, I definitely noticed the momentum system in the new uh, game, and I want to make a full video breaking this stuff down in the future. So like I said, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section if you want to see that. But without a doubt, the momentum system and the home field advantage in the upcoming uh, Madden 22 are pretty real. I mean, they're not something that, you know, you get used to it after a while, and it's not something that's going to completely derail you, but it's something that can definitely, uh, it's going to swing games in leagues, especially in playoff games. I mean, it's going to be that much more important to get number one seeds and home field advantages and stuff like that unlike previous years because there's going to be people that are going to lose games in the playoffs and major division rival games i'm sure that you know these effects that i'll like i said i'll go into more in the future in future videos the effects that basically happen when you're when you're down or when you're on um you know you're not at, at home field when you're in an away team i think are going to be uh major problems for some people and like i said to me it's definitely going to cost people games so that's something that i think will definitely add to the realism that a lot of sim leagues especially want now one of the biggest updates that they show and i went over it a little bit in my last video uh from the trailer because i had some freeze frames of uh you know what they were trying to say but there's there's something new where basically you don't just hire a head coach anymore um, there's now you basically hire an entire staff offensive coordinators defensive coordinators head coaches all that stuff you're gonna have uh, an entire staff of coaches that you're really going to be growing throughout a franchise most so you're not just growing players you're really trying to grow coaches as well um, and it's something that you can even basically earn a currency towards these guys um, to a point where it's going to basically if you work up your coaches you can be able to work up your entire team that much faster now the currency you get is used uh, with something they call talent trees where essentially you're going to be able to use that currency to unlock things in in your coaches and in your coaching staff um, including player personnel which by the way I didn't mention but uh, ultimately you know growing these coaches and and using this currency it's just going to be ways to make your team better you can see how it can affect things like um, injuries on players I mean you have the ability with your offensive defensive coordinator to um, you know basically have more luck and less injuries I mean stuff like that's obviously a big advantage in franchise mode nothing's worse than like losing your quarterback or something for an entire season early on in the year some of these things look familiar as far as they used to be things that were assigned to head coaches like this one here trade discount on older players I think that's something that was uh, that's been in the game a while uh, obviously that won't help in online franchise mode that will only help in offline franchise mode but that's something where uh, I think was a part of team builder in the past for head coaches so not all these things are 100% new um, but you can see they say there's up to 60 at launch 60 different uh, you know things you can choose in the talent tree and they also say you get like 20 more uh, throughout you know NFL live throughout the year when they're constantly updating the game so that's something that's definitely gonna be interesting then it goes into scouting which is something that they're you know they're projecting to be a major change but they also said that it won't be available at launch it's something that they have to add they didn't go too in depth when it comes to uh the scouting but they did say that much like the big board um throughout the entire college football season players will rise and fall and stuff like that so you really have to um, you know, you don't want to put too much stock or too much draft stock or too much uh, scouting into one particular guy. Next thing, you know, a couple weeks later, he's not even in a first round grade anymore or something like that. So you really have to be smart about it. Um, but, you know, these are all things that are definitely going to add challenges to uh, building your team, which is what people want. Now, when it comes to the weekly strategy, uh, you know, portion of this, which I think actually looks really in depth. I mean, they, they talk about how they have next gen stats and um, 
it really looks like the the stat work that you can look at is really in depth as far as how a player is playing that current year like you can see in this stat here i mean they're basically uh showing you the passer rating at all levels towards a specific cornerback so it's things like that i mean you could really see um you know maybe opportunities ahead of game day i think this is going to be best used to try to stop your opponent's best team player you know whatever they like to do the most i mean if they're specifically a running uh type of player or a passing type of player it looks like you're going to be able to uh try to affect that as much as possible with your weekly strategy which i think is going to be important i think it could really help out uh certain players that might struggle against a certain type of offense or defense like this one here they're, they're choosing one of their better defensive players in levante david and it looks like you can basically set what type of lanes you want him to control uh before the game uh, even starts. I mean, you have run inside, run outside. So if you have a guy who likes to throw a lot of tosses or run a lot of stretch plays, you could basically try to gear your linebackers or your best players towards stopping that before the game even starts. You can see how you can even choose uh, what area of the field that you want him to defend as far as short, medium, deep. I mean, this is something that can really have a lot of effect. It can have a negative effect as well. Obviously, if you choose uh, something and then he the player you're playing against counters that then ultimately your your linebacker is going to be out of position so it's things like this um you know we all know that there's coaching adjustments in game now that you really have to stay on top of because if you're setting your depth to a depth and then they you know 25 yards or something like that and then they start throwing a shorter distance this is something where i wonder if you'll have that ability once the game starts to change the next thing they go into is halftime adjustments which is something that's not really working in the playtest community you know th this looks like the opportunity in my opinion to to re reset whatever your your weekly game plan was so if your if your game plan early on was to defend the outside run like i was saying with Devon, levante david this is probably your opportunity to change that if your opponent um switches up his offense if he sees that you're doing that this is going to be your opportunity to basically change that from my you know this is basically what i take from it uh, and if that's the case, then, um, you know, that's you got to at least still wait till halftime. I mean, things could be pretty disastrous for the first half before you can can alter that. Like I said, it could be a double edged sword. Some definitely to work to watch out for. But it's definitely something that if you do right, you could probably get some serious advantages with. Now, in this next picture here, they show fatigue scales for, um, you know, three uh, three players that uh, obviously if. You know, if there's if there's seasonal fatigue, I don't know if they're talking about injuries here when they say fatigue, which makes sense because they're giving you the option, which I'm going to talk about here in a minute, where you can basically control the the intensity of practices to try to get your players' fatigue uh, to a better level for game day. That's something that looks like it's going to be a season-long uh, issue, which is something that's definitely cool as well. So you can't just have one player going out there and dominating every week without expecting a, a fatigue throughout the season making that player less effective over time so that's something that's going to definitely be a cool wrinkle how they're going to basically make fatigue an issue throughout the season and give you the ability to control practices to try to maintain your players at a high level which is also another thing another wrinkle in this system that uh, looks really cool and it looks like something that uh, franchise players are going to like and then the last thing they go into is the season engine which is uh you know scenarios uh different scenarios can pop up throughout the entire season that you're gonna have to deal with um, I think this is cool because it's realistic to real life I mean if you watch NFL there's always uh, random uh, you know issues that pop up with every team it's gonna just make you know it's gonna keep you on your toes I mean at the very least um, you know when you're doing these these press conferences with coaches and stuff like that I said in the last video that I made that if those um, press conferences if your answers had real um, if they really affected uh, what would happen with your franchise throughout the year it'd be a really cool addition just as long as it wasn't just some random you know lip service moment that you know it was kind of like nba 2k where it can really affect um you know your your your, your players decisions and stuff like that so it looks like it's going to do that that's the hope anyway if it gets to a point where your players want to leave because such and such a comment you made stuff like that i think that'll be really cool that'll be something that um probably be more uh, fun to explore in an offline and an online franchise mode but it's definitely something that uh it looks like it's going to be a big deal in the upcoming game one example they have uh, is between uh russell wilson and Dwayne eskridge who was a second round pick this last year i think out of washington uh real speedster receiver uh basically the uh the scenario that pl can play out is that if you have a certain star quarterback and say you just have some random receiver that you like, you know, typically a really fast one or a really tall one, whatever, um, you know, in the CFM, you want to build them up 
right away, you have the ability to build up that receiver in one season. So think of Justin Jefferson last year, how quickly he became a superstar in the league. Um, that is something that you can do. If you have the right superstar quarterback, which is definitely going to add more value to those type of players, if they have the ability to turn any receiver into an absolute stud in one season, uh, that's something that can play out. They say that the challenges get harder and harder and harder, obviously, to, to move them up, but the rewards get that much better. So it's not something where in previous matches you might have to wait a several years to work up your favorite receiver. It looks like you could do that within a season, just as long as you're good enough and, and you complete the goals, which is probably going to be the hardest part for most people. But you can definitely, I mean, that's a, that's an awesome idea that you can solve a receiver issue just like that, just in within a season based off of how good you are as a passer. I mean, that's something that's really going to, I mean, obviously you need the right quarterback or whatever, but based off of that idea, that's really going to, you know, if you're a good player, you might be able to build an overpowered offense very quickly uh, in your favorite franchise uh, based off of scenarios like that. So I'm going to go to my end of the video there. Like I said, if you guys want to see more videos like this, I plan on doing one based off of gameplay, based off of my experience with the playtest community uh, in a couple of days. So if you want to see that, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shout out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.